Good day everyone, I'm Jeremy Calma from the BSHM 4A and this is my midterm examination. Here is the detailed checklist for managing daily restaurant operation. Number one is the restaurant manager checklist, the manager's duty. A manager's play a vital role in maintaining a restaurant. The checklist regarding the daily duties of the manager contains three sections. They are, first is the manager's opening checklist. The manager who opens the restaurant is responsible for unlocking the cash register and adding the first cash. He should also check the reservation made by the customers for the day and reply to all the emails that the restaurant has received. Checking inventory is another significant activity that a manager must perform. A manager must coordinate with the executive chef to know about the available stocks and whether it would suffice for the entire day. Similarly, the same thing must be done with the bartender as well. According to the previous day sales report, the manager must also project the sales of the particular day. In, ad in addition to this, a manager should always check the restroom personally before opening the restaurant. Ship change checklist. During the ship change checklist of the manager, the previous manager should complete all his tasks so the next manager can take up the operation of the restaurant and his duties as mentioned in the restaurant's management checklist smoothly. The first manager should also deliver all the necessary information to the next manager. For example, if there is any reservation of 10 plus head in the restaurant later in that day, the kitchen ran out of a particularly item, a specific staff member has resigned suddenly or it not on the floor. Example, uh, delivering all the information will help the next manager in line to make appropriate decision that will ensure that the restaurant runs smoothly during the rush hour of the day. Manager's Closing Checklist Next is the closing task. Just as a manager have to perform specific duties at the start of the day, they, they have some similar duties that they must perform at the end of the day as well. These duties precisely include counting the register, looking at the detailed sale report at the end of the day, counting tips and allocating them appropriately before closing. The manager must confirm the amount of stock used in the stock available from the executive chef and the bartender to, de to decide if the available stock is sufficient or not. Number two is the restaurant management checklist for side work. Certain tasks need to be performed by the restaurant staff when the restaurant is in the slow hour of the day or when the restaurant is closed after lunch and it is preparing up for the, for the evening shift. At this hour, managers may assign some duties to idle staff members both at the back and at the front end of the restaurant. These tasks must be put on the daily checklist to make sure that they are not missed. These include First is the restaurant management checklist for front of the house operation. The idle staff is generally asked to check if any of the tablecloths are spoiled. If yes, then they replace them. They fold the napkins, clean the cutlery, arrange the table per the table arrangement technique, Place fresh flowers in the table base if your restaurant provides one. Check if there is a menu on the tables. Next is the restaurant management checklist for back-end operation. During idle hour, there is generally not much to do. This is the great time to refill all the station, sharpen knives, organize storage room, and the fridge, check the temperature of the refrigerator, Refill spices and prep and check the inventory critical food items and inform appropriate people about them. Number three is the restaurant management checklist kitchen and cleaning staff. The kitchen is not merely a place where food comes out. Its need to be arranged accordingly and to ensure that the kitchen operations are on point. You need to create a daily checklist for your kitchen staff as well. This checklist will be a part of your restaurant management checklist 
but will deal with the task exclusive to your kitchen staff. This checklist will have two parts. The first is the dealing with kitchen prep work and the other with the kitchen cleaning. First is the kitchen preparation work checklist. Various types of the sauces go into making the dishes and these sauces must be made in advance. Vegetables need to be cleaned, at times also chopped, broth needs to be prepared in advance, the fish or the meat needs to be broken down or put in the marination considering the pressure that goes into preparing the kitchen for the day. Many restaurant employee staff member who come early to ensure that the kitchen is ready for the hour head. Prep, prep work is essentially important since if the preparation are not done in time, it will slow down all the operation of your kitchen and increase the generation of the kitchen waste. Kitchen waste generation is not sometime, something that you should take lightly to understand the seriousness of the issues and why it must be ignored. Read why ignoring kitchen waste management in your restaurant can be the biggest mistake. Thus, you must make the daily checklist as comprehensive as possible and keep updating it as per and change in the menu of your restaurant. Next is the cleaning checklist. The kitchen needs to be cleaned at the regular intervals, not only to maintain hygiene but also to make the kitchen table look less confusing. Cleaning of the kitchen includes cleaning every station, putting the extra food away, organizing the walk-in, keep the knives and the other utensils in the right place, wiping the station and, and the chopping area. Every staff member in the kitchen must be responsible for keeping the kitchen clean. Uh, the idea is that whenever they are done working in a particular station, they should leave it clean enough to be immediately used by the someone else that must be instilled in them. Number four was the restaurant management checklist servers checklist. Considering that your servers will be the face of your kitchen, how can you possibly not make a checklist for them as well? Just like the managers, you should make three different checklists for the servers which will help them to perform better. These checklists include, first is the server's opening checklist. The first thing on your server's daily restaurant management checklist should be to check with a vigilant eye that everything is right in place before the restaurant opens. Uh, they should check that the floor is clean and dry, the table are clean with the crisp, crisp tablecloths and napkins are in the place. If your restaurant is a fine dine-in, this becomes all the more important. Next is the server ship change checklist. This is especially important of your restaurant has more than one ship. In such a scenario, it becomes necessary to ensure that your restaurant checklist includes all the tasks in which servers that are leaving should perform so that the incoming servers can start with ease. Uh, the outgoing uh, servers must also inform the incoming servers about the important happenings at the restaurants. For example, if a restaurant has run out of a particular dish, it should be delivered to income servers so that he can inform the customers who order the same dish, the incoming servers must must also check if any is missing on the front end in the restaurant before the restaurant open up the next shift. Next is the server closing checklist. The server's daily closing checklist will make sure that the everything is set for the following day and the day servers won't have too many tasks before they open to the restaurant. Uh, make sure that your service tick up each item on the checklist as they go through it so that they can don't miss anything. Also leave a space where evening servers can add a note for those openings so that if there is any information they need to pass on, they can communicate it. Number 5 is the Restaurant Management Checklist Bartender's Duties. Managing a bar is a part of how to manage a restaurant question. 
Hence, if you have a bar, then you must have a checklist of the bar activities. The checklist should include the total sale, the number of the bottles taken out from the stock, and if any bottle was broken, the stock available for the next day. Since the internal tip in the bar is the most, the bar daily management checklist should be a comprehensive that all misappropriation with the liquor bottles can be easily traced. A proper checklist will help you control liquor costs to a great extent. Number six is the marketing checklist for daily restaurant management. Considering that uh, marketing is a very integral part of the restaurant operation, the place of a ma major role in the forging the future of your restaurant, you must create a checklist for, for in-house marketing officials as well. These officials need to monitor what is being said about your restaurant on the social media. They must check the review your customers live on these platforms and response immediately. You must inform your official to be grateful to the ones who praise your restaurant and apologize to the ones who did not have such a good experience. Since making your presence felt in the social media page, it is important this official must religiously post photos and videos of your dishes and restaurants. 